Hey everyone, welcome to this cPanel tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be using the um, MySQL database wizard from within cPanel to generate a database to install Joomla. And the first thing we're going to want to do is go to joomla.org to download the latest stable release from Joomla. Um, you can find the download button on the home page and from there download the zip archive for the latest stable release and at the time of this video that's 1.7.3 after you've downloaded Joomla I've already saved mine to my desktop you're going to want to right click and extract all and when you extract it be sure you take note of the location that you're extracting it to because we're going to need to access that folder later when we upload the files to the server after you've extracted them you'll have a folder it looks a lot like this so the first thing we're going to want to do is access cPanel to create the database. For this tutorial I've set up tutorials.siteperl.com and we're going to access cPanel by just tacking on cPanel into that and you type in your username and your password I think that's right? Yes. And once you log into cPanel go down to your databases category right here and click on MySQL Database Wizard. The first thing it's going to ask you for is the database name. And we're going to call ours Joomla. The second thing it's going to ask you for is to create a user that has permissions to use that database. And we're just going to call this one, this user, admin12. And when you generate the password, you know, this isn't a pa this isn't your administrator's password for Joomla. This is the database password. So I highly recommend using the password generator from cPanel to give you a very, very strong password. And what you need to do is just, it'll be highlighted by default. Just copy it and then paste it into something like Notepad. And tick the little option that says I've copied the, pa pa the password, excuse me, and click Use Password. And after you've done that, click on Create User. The next step is going to be assigning the user to the database, you know, giving it permission, giving the user permission to manipulate the database. Um, I would recommend just doing all privileges, hitting next step, and you're done. So after we've created the database, the next thing we're going to do is upload our files here to the FTP server. Um, you can use whatever FTP client you want. I prefer FileZilla just because I've always used it and it's very easy to use. And FTP into your server. And if you're, well, I guess we are using cPanel, but when you FTP into the server, you're going to be in your root directory. And the folder you want to upload your files to is the public HTML folder and when you open that you can see I've already uploaded Joomla here just because it takes a not a very long time maybe about like three or four minutes to upload um, all 4400 files via FTP but you can see here on the left this is, these are the um, this is the folder on my desktop that I extracted Joomla to and when you upload those you need to select all of them just click in the box and hit control A right click and click on upload and then that will move the files and folders from here to here. And when the upload completes, be sure you check down here in the uh, fail transfers box because more, more times than not you'll have you know just like three or four files that will uh, fail and you would just right click and hit reset and rekey all. After you've uploaded the files to the server, access the location you uploaded the files to. In this case it's the root directory of tutorials.siteprol.com and will be shown the Joomla installation screen. Uh, select your language. We speak American here in the United States and it'll do some uh, pre-installation checks. Um, if you're using a standard uh, web host most of the times these will all come back as uh, you know thumbs up. Hit next this is just the uh, license agreement nothing to do here so hit next um, this next screen is going to be asking for our uh, username and password for the database and when you're typing this in 
you know, the uh, username we gave it was uh, admin12, but more more times than not you're going to be in a shared hosting environment which means that you're going to have your actual server account name tacked onto the front of that such as if we went back to um, cpanel here okay, bam, 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 bam. <clears throat> if we view our databases you'll see here that our account username is tutorial and the database name is Joomla so this entire guy here is going to be our database name which goes right here and but we're gonna have the same thing for the users for the database which will be here do that and then the password is the password that we copied into notepad and 11 times out of 10 your host name here is going to be localhost and give it a prefix J17 hit next it'll try to connect to the database and if nothing went wrong you'll see this screen here which is your FTP configuration for uh, backups um, most of the times I would just recommend leaving this blank because your host will be backing up your files for you and you can back up the site your excuse me yourself through cPanel hit next give it a site name site Perl tutorial demo your email address the administrator's username we'll call it admin password um, if you're not that familiar with Joomla what you can do is click here to install sample data which will just create a few uh, demo articles and menus for you so that you can go in there and uh, edit content as opposed to creating it from scratch and that'll give you a pretty good idea on how Joomla works and then click next now if we try to access the site now it's not going to let us because we have not yet removed the installation directory um, if you click on that it'll remove it and then go back to the site and right there is Joomla fresh and installed and to log in using the credentials that we set up in step 6 you go to the Joomla installation slash admin ostrator uh -oh. hey just kidding okay and then from here you can manage the rest of your Joomla site Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other tutorials for um, additional information on how to use cPanel.